Well, first off, I think it shows the excitement that uh, a lot of the states uh, in the country have about President Xi's visit. Several congressional delegations from several states asked the Chinese for President Xi to visit as part of this trip, and the Chinese government selected Washington State. Uh, I think that uh, it's because of Washington State's uh, deep trading routes uh, with uh, mainland China. I think it's because of the deep uh, roots of, uh, of immigration that's taken that's took place over the last many, many years of people from the mainland coming, uh, mainland China uh, coming to uh, Washington State. And uh, I can say we're very excited about uh, having President Xi visit. Uh, I think for the, the Washington State uh, trip, the, the main achievement will be to further uh, show um, that first that Washington State is on the map when it comes to Asia-Pacific relations uh, because of our deep trading ties, not just with China, but many other countries in Asia. Second, I think it provides the opportunity for Washington State to continue to show that uh, we are making the products and providing the services uh, and putting people to work in Washington State that uh, result in things being sold to places like China. I think that there are opportunities in uh, several areas for uh, Chinese-based uh, investment um, in Washington State. Uh, we've seen in the past uh, some purchases of smaller tech uh, technology companies uh, in Washington State, uh, not for those companies to be picked up and moved to China, but actually to become the uh, U.S.-based division of Chinese tech companies. And you've seen job growth uh, as well. I think we'll continue to see and have an opportunity as well to show off um, some of our transportation sector, especially uh, in aerospace manufacturing. Uh, Washington State uh, is the home of uh, building uh, Boeing airplanes. A lot of the Boeing airplanes are purchased by Chinese-based uh, airlines. But there are uh, several aerospace suppliers as well that are working directly with uh, Chinese-based airplane manufacturers to help the Chinese develop their own, uh, their own uh, um, airplane in the future. So technology, uh, transportation, and finally I think there's, uh, there are opportunities in construction uh, as well as Washington State goes through a, what is currently a, a big construction boom. Well, I think it's important for mainly uh, two reasons. Uh, the first reason I'll just note it has to do with the idea that the relationship right now is in a stage of uh, hopes and of hurdles. Uh, one of the hurdles to the relationship currently is our concerns about cybersecurity. And I would expect that uh, uh, President Xi and his team will hear from members of Congress about their concerns over cybersecurity. In fact, um, if the reports are true and the Obama administration is considering uh, sanctions against China because of cybersecurity, I think it underscores the um, importance of how we, how we see the problem of uh, officially sanctioned uh, um, Chinese hacking into the U.S. And I, I would expect that, that President Xi is going to hear from members of Congress uh, on that issue. And the second reason I think this meeting is important is because I think, I think Congress plays a much more active role in policy development than, say, the National People's Congress. Uh, I know members of the National People's Congress, they're hardworking, uh, but uh, the relationship between the uh, um, Standing Committee in China and the National People's Congress is one that is very different than the relationship between the presidency and Congress. Congress has its own voice. Sometimes Congress has several voices on one issue. And I think President Xi is going to hear uh, voices from Congress that might be different and might be the same as he hears from President Obama.